Welcome to the Canvas overview video for our software engineering course. This is the Canvas homepage for the software engineering course. It looks very similar to the homepages for all of your courses, um, except this one says software engineering and it has my name here. You can click right here to send me an email. You can call this number uh, as well. It will go right to voicemail, but if you leave me a voicemail, I'll get an email with your voicemail in the email. So that works as well. These are the same eight buttons that are on all of your Canvas courses. Uh, the last five go to places other than this Canvas course. Um, the calendar button goes to your Canvas calendar. So we will focus on the daily agenda button and the course materials button. Let's start with the daily agenda. When I click on the daily agenda, it's gonna take me to a Canvas page for a specific topic in the current unit. And so the first topic of the first unit of software engineering focuses on the Raspberry Pi. On each of these uh, section pages, um, embedded will be the daily targets do now and homework slides. Um, so you can always find and reference that. Below that will be a to-do list where the to-do list is organized by day. So each day will have a series of tasks to complete that day. So we'll start with Tuesday and then Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Monday and so on and so forth. There'll also be a section for extra practice um, and another section for extension resources as well. At the bottom of each page, I have a legend where I use different icons, which you'll see in your to-do list to give you a context clue of what type of task that is. So when you see the magnifying glass, you know you're gonna be reading or watching something. The globe tells you it's a whole class activity. The speech bubble is a small group activity. The person icon is for a solo activity. The pencil is an individual formative assessment, and the checklist is an individual summative assessment. Let's go back to the home page. The other button on the home page of interest to us at the moment is the button that goes to our course materials. When I click on this link, um, it takes me to the Canvas modules. Specifically, it takes me to the introduction and resources module. Um, this module has a number of direct links which are convenient, for example, to go to the uh, Zoom classrooms for the different class periods, our Zoom expectations and tips, a different link for your office hours, um, some resources here at the bottom, a page full of all sorts of tools, online tools, references, and review sites. This is very similar to what we had in AP Computer Science, the detailed syllabus, GitHub, things like that. Um, let's take a look at the Getting Started at a Glance Canvas page. This is a um, very important resource here at the beginning of the course uh, because it explains how I will communicate through this Canvas course and what expectations you and I should have as, as well. So in terms of communication, the way I communicate course updates is through that daily targets do now and homework slides um, as well as through the to-do list um, for uh, on the page like the one we looked at just a moment ago. More irregular updates will be posted as announcements in Canvas. Uh, you're used to that from AP Computer Science. So those aren't always directly related to the course, but things I might um, think that you would be interested in, other opportunities, things like that. During class, communication will be done via Zoom. Here's the links to that. Um, and again, we'll have our Zoom expectations and tips. Um, each unit will have a YouTube playlist, and the recordings of class will be available in that playlist. That's primarily for our live coding activities. If Zoom is down for some reason, the backup plan is to use my Google Meet link here um, so that we can still talk. Um, in terms of communication after class, questions are best asked in Slack. So Slack is the tool that we will be using as part of software engineering. It's a de facto industry standard. Um, the reason why it's useful is I or other students, I definitely encourage you to answer each other's questions, will respond most quickly to Slack messages. We'll use Slack a lot in the spring semester as well when we're working on, with our teams. Um, communication that is personal or private, probably best not done through Slack, although you can send me a DM on Slack. Um, it's probably best done via email. Um, so click on this link to send me an email. One-on-one -on -one meetings, assistance, things like that can be done during office hours on Zoom. I relish feedback, I love feedback. Um, I prefer, as you know from previous classes, that you email it to me or we discuss it. Um, however, if you're more comfortable providing it anonymously, I'd rather have it anonymously than not have it at all. 
uh, expectations. You can expect that everything you need is going to be made available through the Canvas modules for this class. Um, and we'll look at a module in, in just a moment. Um, organizational method. This should seem familiar from AP Computer Science, but I've tried to make some updates throughout the summer here to make it a little bit better organized and easier for you to figure out what needs to be done each day. So each module corresponds to a unit of study. That's the same. Um, each module is further divided into sections where sections correspond to a major concept within the unit. Um, and each section starts with a page that, per, that similar to the one we saw earlier. That's new. That's not something I had in AP Computer Science. Um, I think this is going to help us stay organized quite a bit. Um, something else I will do is I will be assigning due dates to each assignment because by doing that, they're going to show up in the right place in your Canvas calendar. Um, you may find your Canvas calendar and your Canvas dashboard to-do list really, really helpful as they are the only places where assignments from all your classes are aggregated. So I have a link here to guides for how you use and configure your Canvas calendar and your Canvas dashboard. Um, what I expect from you at the start of class is that you join our Zoom um, and that you review the current section page, specifically take a look at the daily targets do now and homework slide, just like you were used to in AP Computer Science, but also take a look now at the to-do list, which will have the specific tasks for that day. At the bottom here, I have a link to several uh, things that we access frequently. Let's take a look at a typical module um, so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to collapse the introduction and resources module so we can see our first module, which is software engineering at tools. Um, much like you're accustomed to, at the top of each module will be a section of unit resources with links to the daily targets and homework slide, the YouTube playlist. Um, if there's a GitHub assignment, uh, that would be up here as well. Um, the new thing here is the sections here. Each of these Canvas pages um, we viewed the Raspberry Pi one earlier, but there's also one in our first unit here for Linux, GitHub and Git, and Docker. Each of these will have the embedded daily targets and slides, the to-do list, um, all those resources and things like that. The summatives will still be at the bottom. Um, each unit's a little bit different, but there might be a lab like the tick lab that we have for this particular unit. Sometimes there's an exam as well. Um, I hope this video gave you a good introduction to what our Canvas course is like and how it's organized. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions or offer any suggestions on how I can make it better. Uh, thank you so much.